Good morning. Rob here from Canada. Welcome to the show. It is Monday. I'm drinking chocolate milk. <laughs> it's a little bit of a late show today, but kind of had to get up, get up a little bit late, so no problem. Okay, so I had the Skype fellowship on Saturday, and my brother Leo from Holland uh, was the only one that showed, and uh, it was great. Where two are gathered in the Lord's name, then there's fellowship, no matter where we are. So, in spirit, all of you were with us, and I am thankful for that. As we pray for all the saints, uh, when we come together in spirit, it's the same way. Uh, we have the unity of the spirit, so no matter if you didn't uh, come to the Skype fellowship, then you're still in spirit with us, and I thank God for that. But, Lord willing, maybe next time when uh, the next fellowship is on Skype, there will be more who will join. Even if you're camera shy, don't worry about it. doesn't matter how you look or how you sound on camera. I'm learning that a lot from doing these shows. I couldn't really care what I look like or what I sound like. As long as I am being articulate in the sense of bringing truth. From the scriptures. That is the most important part. Okay, today I'm going to read Romans chapter 14. And that inspiration comes from Leo. He said he read the whole book of Romans um, last weekend. So, it's a very vital, important book. And when you are a new believer, a young believer, that's where it is recommended that you go first, is the book of Romans. I'm going to read chapter 14 today. Now the infirm in the faith is be taking to yourselves, but not for discrimination of reasonings. One indeed is believing to eat all things, yet the infirm one is eating greens. Let, hit, let not him who is eating be scorning him who is not eating. Yet let not him who is not eating be judging him who is eating, for God took him to himself. Now we can understand that. We don't need to be judging anybody for what they do whether they're vegetarian and that's what I believe that is eating greens and eating meat so you can see the vegans out there they eat they love to eat the greens they don't want to eat meat so we're not judging them let each one be doing his own thing and pretty much that's it God is the judge of all and he does take everybody to himself no matter who they are or what they do and what they're eating who are you who are judging another's domestic to his own master he is standing or falling. Now he will be made to stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One indeed is deciding for one day rather than another day, yet one is deciding for every day. Let each one be fully assured in his own mind. He who is disposed to the day is disposed to it to the Lord, and he who is eating is eating to the Lord, for he is thanking God, and he is not he who is not eating to the Lord is not eating and, and is thanking God. For not one of us is living to himself, and not one of one is dying to himself. For both, if we should be living to the Lord, are we living? And if we should be dying to the Lord, we are dying. Then, both if we should be living and if we should be dying, we are the Lord's. For for this Christ died and lives. And, and that he should be Lord of the dead as well as the living. Now why are you judging your brother? Or why are you also scorning your brother? For all of us shall be presented at the dais of Christ. For it is written, Living am I, the Lord is saying, For to me shall bow every knee, and every tongue shall be acclaiming God. That actually complements uh, the verse in Philippians or yeah the verse in Philippians where it says that every knee should be bowing and every tongue should be confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord consequently then each of us shall be given account giving account concerning himself to God by no means then should we still be judging one another but rather decide this not to place a stumbling block for a brother or a snare I have perceived and I am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is contaminating of itself, except that one reckoning anything to be contaminating. To that one it is contaminating. For if because of food your brother is sorrowing, 
you are no longer walking according to love. Do not buy your food, destroy that one for whose, for whose sake Christ died. Let not then your good be calumniating, cal calumniated. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in Holy Spirit. For, for he who is this is slaving f for Christ, as well as pleasing, God, pleasing to God and attested by men. Consequently, the, then, we are pursuing that which makes for peace, and that which is for edification of one another. Not on account of food demolish the work of God. All indeed is clean, but it is evil to the man who is, with stumbling is eating. It is, uh, it is ideal not to be eating meat nor yet to be drinking wine, nor yet to do aught by which your brother is stumbling, or is being snared or weakened. The faith which you have, have for yourself in God's sight. Happy is he who is not judging himself in that which he is attesting. Now he who is doubting if he should be eating is condemned, seeing that it is not out of faith. Now everything which is not uh, out of faith is sin. Okay. So there you go. So missing of the mark there is if you're eating and drinking in front of a brother and you are offending him by what you're doing, do not do it in that sense, right? We do not want to be offending one another. And this is what that whole premise of that scripture was, is to do it in the Lord. And if you are doing something in the Lord, you are happy about it. You do not feel any guilt about it. And it is not sin. It is not missing the mark when you do everything and you recognize that you're doing it in the Lord. Okay, folks, so today is Monday. I did a short show today, so grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Enjoy your day in the Lord, and we will see you tomorrow, folks.